tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We give information straight from the experts. We give information because you deserve to know the information, especially in this kind of public media organization. Would have a self-correcting mechanism. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have their own ombudsman. They have their own grievance process, and there is of course the editorial process. Na hindi naman basta basta yan ilalabas ng ng desk kapag hindi factual. Trabaho naman. Bilang isang profession, meron itong pawantayang sinusunod. Mm -hmm. Because media is a profession. Country. Uh, However, it should be impressed on people. I think what is lacking is is clearly, really, a CV in the civics. Yan ang kulang. Mm -hmm. Yung maintindan ng tao, ibang, so, ang social media, mga tao lang yan ang nagsasalita. Na gusto lang ipalabas ang opinion nila pero hindi mo dapat pagtiwalaan basta-basta. Totoo. Uh, hindi ito a popularity because truth sometimes is unpopular. Mm -hmm. There are many inconvenient truths. Apologies and ideas. ideas and not personalities. But even before martial law, people were already gravitating towards personalities. Yan ang hindi naisip ng mga yes. framers. Ng, in terms of people subjected to the pay, power of death. Whether you're a journalist or a lawyer, you know, okay. or an, a human active, uh, a human rights activist, activist yeah. or a teacher, a labor leader. So it is not just the media that would probably be the victim of that. It's many sectors in society. Hmm. Maybe it's also because of the kind of culture that we have right now because of this president and the way he cavalierly treats life mm -hmm. okay. uh, and so that is the mentality that... of the people na ng Pilipino no na kahit siguro kahit anong galing kanina nga po na pag-usapan natin there are no magagaling na talaga they are well educated in terms of their stand but people don't believe them eh maybe the you know what's your take about it is it there is also that that patronizing attitude from the minority that is critical of the president towards the majority. Mm -hmm. I am I, I tend to also fall on that uh, faithfully to what is your profession. Mm -hmm. uh, spread the truth, the truth and nothing but the truth. And 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 really I wish you can be as bold. And of course, make sure that you know you have to always excel. Mm -hmm. Para mapag, mapagkatiwala, mapagtiwalaan kayo. Don't okay. give, don't give your detractors any reason for them to not believe you. And that hold you credible. Thank you so much, Sir Contreras, for that. Uh... Because sinabi na nga ni Sir Contreras na ang media is responsible of informing, educating, at the same time, ito ang nagiging salami natin. Hindi lamang po ito sa gobyerno. Hindi lamang po ito sa nagiging uh, konteksto ng ating pamumuhay. Pero gusto ko lang din po sanang tuunang pansin dito na dahil nagiging makapangyarihan na rin ang social media, dapat din po nating malaman kung saan tayo babaling sa katotohanan. Dahil marami na po sa atin ang nabubulag ng katotohanan. The misinformation, not just the media, but the people who posted their comments and seeing that it caught a lot of attentions and engagements, people believe in it. So, it's alarming in a sense that we should be knowledgeable enough to consider the parameters of the person who posted the information. Because that's the main factor of everyone, that we need to consider to someone's it opinion at the same time. Because that's the, that's the gist of uh, knowing, um, nasabi nga ni Sir Contreras kanina, still, there is no uh, he can't say that there is oppression because still ABS-CBN do their job using other platforms. And on that personal note on my side, for me, no, I guess there's none. It's just that um, people misunderstood it because of the things that uh, some something, you know, people misunderstood it in the way that they are not just, you know, enough knowledge of what's the current situation, but I am respecting their opinion. ba? Sabi nga ni Sir Contreras, iba-iba naman yung opinion natin, iba-iba naman yung mga pananaw natin.
Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.